chief guest of the evening, Dr. Alpana Mittal. Guest of honor, Mr. Hassan Chogle, President, DPS Modern Indian School. Mr. Yasser Nanar, Vice President, DPS Modern Indian School. Honorable EC members, Principal, Ms. Asna Nafis. Vice Principals, Ms. Soma Bhattacharji, Ms. Mary Cruz, and Ms. Shifa Sheikh. Headmistresses, Ms. Sini and Ms. Najila. Teachers, students, proud parents, and all the viewers, a very warm good evening to you all. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. These words hold so true in the current scenario. The ongoing pandemic has created an atmosphere of uncertainty around the world. In this time of uncertainty, it is even more important that we reflect and acknowledge the hard work that students have put into their curricular and co-curricular pursuits and recognize our teachers for the selfless service they have rendered. Recognition is a powerful way for our society to move forward. Even when it feels like it's at a standstill, it helps us to stay positive engaged and motivated. On behalf of DPS Modern Indian School, I, Soumya Murgai, take this opportunity to welcome one and all to today's program, Footprints, The Unique Journey. We have gathered here today, not only to congratulate our CBSE toppers and felicitate our teachers for their long service to our school, but also to kindle the spirit of togetherness and encourage students who have showcased their talents despite the difficult times we are in. Without further delay, let us commence today's virtual ceremony. Before we start the program, let us invoke the blessings of the Almighty. Let me invite Sneha Chandnani to recite the prayer. Dear God, we pray for your love and compassion to abound. As we walk through this challenging season, we pray for those who are suffering with sickness and all who are caring for them. We ask for protection for the elderly and vulnerable. We pray for misinformation to be curbed. And lastly, we pray that we may approach each day in faith and peace, trusting in the truth of goodness towards us. Thank you. Thank you, Sneha. Before we commence, may I invite our dear Principal Ma'am to please address the viewers. Thank you, Soumya. Chief guest of this special function, the special journey, Dr. Alpana Mittal. President of DPS Modern Indian School, Mr. Hassan Chokli. Vice President, Mr. Yasir Nainar. Members of the EC. The school functionaries, the vice principals, Ms. Soma, Ms. Mary, Ms. Shifa, the HMs, Ms. Najla, and Ms. Sini, all the proud parents of DPS Modern Indian School and the most loving component of DPS Modern Indian School family, that is our students. A very good evening. I start with a quote from Rumi's poetry. Rumi once said, I was clever yesterday and I tried to change the world. I'm wise today, and I try to change myself. Today's pandemic has taught us that it is time that we reflect on our ways of living, the way we are leading a life on Mother Earth. It is time for us to reflect on how we can change the ways in which we survive and exist in this way, in this world, so that a better tomorrow is handed over to our children. I take this opportunity first to thank Dr. Alpna Mittal for very, very willingly accepting this invitation to grace this special occasion. Each year we conduct the annual day and our annual days are something that I look forward to in society. The community waits for DPS Modern Indian School's theme-based annual days. We believe that annual days are occasions when people come together, the entire DPS family comes together and works as one creative team. Unfortunately, this year, Due to the pandemic, we couldn't come together. But 
we wouldn't miss an opportunity to showcase how we have lived with hope, how we have transformed ourselves and how important it was to, to stay alert, to stay smart and to work with hope and to work as a team. We came together and we have overcome the difficulties that lockdown brought in. Lockdown could have put us into physical bind boundaries, but not our spirits. Our spirits soared, we found new ways of working, and it is already visible to the entire Doha, how we have functioned and even overseas to other places, how DPS Modern Indian School has taken this challenge and moved forward. Our teachers immediately transformed from teaching offline to teaching online. Our children took this opportunity to explore every single event that was calendared. And with the help of the teachers, we went ahead and completed all the deadlines, all the agenda that we had planned for the entire year. I would fail if I didn't thank our visionary leader, Mr. Hassan Chogle, in absence, our patron and chief patron, and the entire EC, Mr. Yasir, Mr. Rocky, Mr. George, Mr. Kanjani, Mr. Gopi, Mr. Sridharan, for having stood with us rock solid and guiding us throughout this very difficult time. Every time that we requested for something, it was just given. I also thank all our parents who have stood with us who have taken this very arduous journey of becoming students once again with their children because education became online. It is the students who are the stars of this occasion. Ours, they, are, they are spending hours in front of the computer instead of spending that at the school where they would meet their friends and help themselves grow emotionally, psychologically, physically. Unfortunately, they are confined to the four walls, but still they have worked with a smile. I would fail if I didn't thank all the supporters who support staff who have stood with us rock solid during these very difficult times. All the members from the IT department, the facilities, the front office, the staff, staff from the stores and accounts, the HR, everybody stood as one team. If we proudly say we are a DPS Modern Indian School family, we really mean it. We continue to deliver every single thing that was possible during this entire academic year. This afternoon's or this evening's event is one such event that just came as a thought in our mind and we have been able to put it together. All the achievements, all the activities that have been undertaken during this entire year are portrayed. And we end with a lot of hope that this should also be done with this pandemic. Should, we should be able to overcome with all the efforts that everybody is putting. At this moment, we extend our solidarity to every single member of society, especially the DPS Modern Indian School family, who has lost loved ones during this entire year of suffering. We stand with you, we are together with you, we understand your difficulty. But we say the human spirit rises above all difficulties. So does the spirit of DPS Modern Indian School. Our results are there to be seen. Our activities and the events in which we have participated are there to be seen. Every event that we have participated, we ensure that we win. We have done so well that the ministry has recognized our services. The CBSC has recognized the efforts that we have put in. And I think everybody else in society recognizes the work we do. I would fail if I didn't thank certain organizations, certain bodies and institutions, starting with the state of Qatar that has stood with us all through this pandemic, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Public Health, Doha, Qatar, the Indian Embassy, Doha, Qatar, the CBSC board, and all members of the EC, headed by Mr. Hassan Chogle, and the entire key functionaries and teachers, parents and students. Thank you and God bless you all. May we continue to work very hard and may the DPS Modern Indian School continue to prosper. May it live long. God bless and thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for those encouraging words. Let me now invite the dynamic Vice President of DPS Modern Indian School, Mr. Yasser Nainar, a man of distinct vision and a fountainhead of illuminating ideas to share his thoughts with us on this occasion. Thank you, Soumya. Uh, distinguished uh, uh, Chief Guest, uh, Dr. Altna Mittal, and uh, the President of the School, 
Mr. Hassan Chogli, the principal, Ms. Asna Nafiz, the key functionaries, students and parents who are uh, watching us live on Facebook. Thank you for uh, having me here on this momentous day. Uh, indeed, I, uh, if one thing that I miss uh, is uh, the auditorium of the school, which uh, comes to life when we have our uh, annual days. And even before that, when the children practice on the stage, uh, whenever we pass by in the school and we hear the music and, the, uh, and all the life inside the auditorium, we know that it's time for annual day. And I was also wondering whether, uh, you know, ma'am will let the opportunity go uh, that, you know, we will have a year without an annual day, but uh, I'm so glad that ma'am has come up with uh, these ideas and uh, has captured every moment uh, of our uh, um, days in uh, when we haven't come to school and we have uh, done equally well academically as well as in terms of activities uh, sitting behind the laptops and computers at home. The pandemic um, has many facets. Uh, there are, of course, big disadvantages to the way education has changed across the world. Uh, children have not been able to uh, get the right form of development that they really deserve, and that is to interact with each other, interact with the teachers. Uh, but it has also given us a dimension as educationists to, uh, to explore uh, how to teach online and how to uh, you know, uh, conduct our activities virtually. I would say both the schools, DPS Modern Indian School and DPS Monarch International School, have come out extremely successfully uh, in exploring these ways. Um, the tools were there always, but we adopted it in a, in a very quick uh, manner. And we have been able to uh, you know, keep the education uh, system alive. We, we of course, miss uh, going to school and we will always miss that. And there's nothing like physical schooling, but equally well, uh, I think our team of key functionaries led by Asna Ma'am has done well in keeping the education system going live for, the, uh, for this entire year and maybe for one more year. I don't know uh, when, the, uh, when the schools will actually open. I would also like to take this opportunity to, opportunity to uh, you know, uh, say a quiet prayer uh, in our own hearts when we watch these videos uh, for those... Um, um, those uh, students uh, and those parents um, who have lost loved ones uh, during this uh, pandemic. Uh, there has been quite a few cases in our own school and uh, that is very unfortunate. And uh, we pray that those souls are still there watching these days and praying for us, uh, praying for our school. We have done uh, our best uh, to keep the morale of our students and our teachers uh, and our parents, um, you know, uh, going strong. Uh, these are tough times, but uh, hopefully, uh, maybe uh, you know, the the last ten days of Ramadan, which uh, which are considered to be uh, very very sacred uh, in the in in the Muslim uh, culture, uh, maybe we will use this to pray even harder uh, for these families uh, to uh, to come back to uh, you know um, come back to normalcy very soon, nothing can replace uh, the life of a lost one in our families. But of course, our morale and our spirit can bring back um, things to, to normalcy uh, and we should move forward. And I also wish the team, the entire team of DPS MIS, the very best for the, for the coming academic year. It has just started and uh, I already see so much of activity uh, going on in the school. And of course, the senior students who will be taking their board exams and passing out. So all the best to everybody. Uh, we have a lot to pray for, but also a lot to hope for in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for those inspiring words. It is my honor to invite our guest of honor, Mr. Hassan Chokle, President, DPS Modern Indian School. A committed educationist by profession, a philanthropist by nature, and an inspiration to all of us to address the gathering. Good afternoon, everybody. Assalamu alaikum and namaskaram. 
We are lucky to have a learned person like Dr. Ralpana Mittal with us. She, being a diplomat wife, has visited many countries and might have visited many schools. Alpana ji, for your information, the DPS group is a philanthropic Indians educationist. We have come together in 1999, around 22 years earlier, and we started the journey with the name with the DP associated with Delhi Public School Society. Today we got three institutions to our credit. And we are going for the fourth one, which is the Pune University, which will start inshallah in the September 2021. When the DPS uh, modern near school is concerned, it has created its niche for itself. Today it is the most sought after school that is possible because of the hard work and the dedicated work of our all teachers, headed by a dynamic uh, leader, Ms. Asna Nafis. Our intelligent and good number of students and our parents who are behind the student. It is the hard work of everybody which has given a name to the school. One more thing I want to tell you, Alpnaji, as uh, this in the past I have said so many times, in the world, entire world is struggling to give fair chance to the ladies. In DPS Modern Indian School, we give very much importance to the ladies. For your information, at the helm of the affairs, Ms. Aisha, Aisha bin Tahammam is a lady, or principal is a lady, or vice principals are lady, or head mistresses are lady, 80% of the teachers are ladies, and even in the student ratio, student lay, girls are 52% and boys are 48%. So everywhere we try, and also we try that for our schools, one, two important thing, one, we try to invite lady guests. We have many prominent Katri's, Katri ladies have visited us and we prefer lady teachers. Why, you know, because they play motherly role and that is very, very important for a young students. Now, today we are passing through a COVID pandemic and our school in, to replace the annual day, they are going ahead with the unique uh, unique uh, year journey by the with the title footprints and uh, which is presented today over here i i we i think we should all pray to almighty god to bring us out of it which is going on for last two years covid has separated us physically but i think it brought it together also and it has given a new lesson to us. I think the people like me who were less computer savvy has become more computer savvy now. And seeing everybody on the screen, we feel that we are coming very closer, even though we are not very close to each other. I hope shortly this will end and we will see all the shining faces physically. Thank you one and all. Jai Hind and Jai Qatar. Inshallah, sir. Inshallah. It will end soon. Thank you, sir. We are all inspired by your words of wisdom. I find immense pleasure in introducing to you all our honorable chief guest of for the evening, Dr. Alpana Mittal. Dr. Alpana is a doctor by profession and a public health specialist who has worked in national, international, and multilateral settings, including the United Nations. Her recent work includes awareness and sensitization workshops and seminars in Delhi schools and NGOs on adolescent health issues. She has authored and published research papers, including on the issue of drug prevention and harm reduction. Before moving to Doha with her husband, His Excellency Dr. Deepak Mittal, the ambassador of India, Dr. Alpana was working as a full-time doctor in DPS Delhi helping the school in developing COVID standard operating protocol for faculty, students, and staff in consultation with Ministry of Health and Education. Being the spouse of a diplomat, she has accompanied her husband to countries like Egypt, Israel, Bangladesh, and Vietnam. We are really thankful to Dr. Alpana for taking time out of a busy schedule to attend our function. With that, may I request Dr. Alpana Mittal to enlighten the audience with her words. Good evening to all of you. Good evening. 
President Mr. Hassan Chogle, uh, members of School Management Committee, uh, dear Principal uh, Ms. Hasna Nafiz, Vice Principals, um, dear teachers, wonderful students, and dear parents. I am really happy to join you all today evening on your Journey Day Footprints. I congratulate uh, all of you on this special occasion. I remember uh, when we were uh, in my childhood, we really used, uh, look, uh, used to look forward to uh, these annual events in school. And uh, I know a lot of effort, a uh, lot of energy goes behind organizing these events. Uh, DPS has taken this initiative of organizing uh, this event uh, in these uh, unique and challenging times. So I take this opportunity to uh, thank the entire uh, organizing committee, uh, school management, uh, students, uh, teachers, uh, dear principal. Uh, so congratulations to all of you. Uh, as you celebrate uh, your journey day uh, and reflect back over past year, uh, dear students, I am confident that uh, you would appreciate and uh, you would uh, ex like to express your uh, thankness and uh, gratefulness uh, towards your teachers uh, who have worked tirelessly, uh, really worked hard day and night. I personally know as a parent, uh, teachers were always available. I mean, they really worked hard. Uh, day and night. Uh, they were traveling early mornings, uh, coming back home, then again working from home, uh, even available uh, late evenings on WhatsApp, clearing all the doubts, and uh, they never complained. Uh, happily, they did uh, one and a half year. It was really, really work hard for them. So I take this opportunity to thank the entire uh, teacher community over there. Thank you. Thanks for uh, helping our students. Uh, uh, I think that students also will take this opportunity to thank their parents uh, who have provided them uh, continuous support uh, during this uh, one and a half year. Uh, it was not easy for working parents. Uh, they were there to help the young ones, especially in login and uh, facilitate them. So thanks parents to provide uh, support to all the students. I also feel that uh, today uh, is a day to celebrate our children especially for teachers and parents, children who have uh, shown uh, great courage, determination, resolve in dealing with the challenge of not being able to go to school so frequently. They have been attending uh, lessons online um, and uh, not able to meet their friends, not uh, able to do play dates, and uh, it's, it's not easy for students. I mean, I, as a parent, I know uh, it's been hard on students, but students have not complained either. Uh, they have just taken up the challenge and uh, were always there uh, to, you know, go ahead. Uh, there were no lunch breaks for them. Uh, they used to enjoy during the cheerful times uh, in school. Uh, and also PE classes, art classes, where they could take break from their rigorous uh, academic courses. So I take this opportunity to thank our wonderful students and well done, all of you. Really proud of all of you. Keep up the good work. This year also, again, it looks like a challenging year. And we have again started on online classes. So keep up the spirit and we'll come out of it uh, strongly. Uh, I think, uh, you know, that's the pride uh, DPS school takes uh, in, in each one of you. You know, that the values the school has imparted in you with empathy um, uh, to uh, uh, being considerate of other human beings. So, uh, so thanks to all the uh, teachers, uh, school, school principal. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my, I think uh, uh, the difficult time also uh, during the pandemic, we got a lot of time to spend with our family. Um, and also we got a time to uh, reflect back and uh, hone our, uh, we got an extra time to look at the hobbies and uh, like art, cooking, sketching, etc. A uh, lot of our students have been doing great in these activities. And I'm sure there are a lot of mothers who will like to share their experience with the teachers given the chance that how wonderful these students are doing at home using the time so constructively. Uh, my message uh, to all of you on this occasion is to maintain the empathy. 
and to take forward the values which have been inculcated, have been imparted by the school to all of you. Uh, these values will make you a good human being, noble human being, and will help all of us make a, a better world out there. Uh, with these uh, words, I wish you all the very best. I thank you for inviting me to be a part of uh, this uh, special day and allow me to share my thoughts with you all. Uh, it's really lovely to be a part of uh, 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 this lovely day. Uh, once again, uh, I'm very happy and glad that I could connect with you all. Uh, we are in a month of Holi Ramadan, so I take this opportunity to wish all of you, your families, Ramadan Kareem. Uh, it's uh, truly a season of uh, prayers and reflection, and uh, we all play to uh, pray together uh, that uh, for you know good health for entire humanity, uh, for uh, better days, and we hope and pray that our students return to school with a lot of fun. They can play in the playgrounds, have lunch together, have all the activities uh, without any restrictions. Uh, I also take this opportunity to thank the uh, entire Indian community in Qatar, who has been so kind, so supportive, and they are providing support in whatever way they can to our uh, brothers and sisters back home in India who are in trouble right now. So thank you very much. Uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Your words will surely inspire our students as well as our teachers. Hard work, devotion, single-minded resoluteness, and commitment. These are some traits which sets apart the extraordinary from the ordinary. Today, we proudly celebrate the achievements of some extraordinary students who, through their persevering efforts, have won personal distinctions as well as accolades for our institution. Ladies and gentlemen, let us join together to celebrate the achievements of the DPS Modern Indian School prodigies. For this, may I invite Preeti Modi ma'am to take over the proceedings. Thank you, Soumya. Good evening to one and all. I, Preeti Modi, consider my proud privilege to announce before you all the Gulf Sahodaya Award recipients of Class 12 and Class 10 for the academic session 2019-2020. Gulf Sahodaya is an association of around 200 CBSC schools in Gulf region under the aegis of CBSC. This prestigious award is given to the students who achieved top ranks in class 12 and class 10 CBSE board examination. Nine students of DPS Modern Indian School from class 12 and class 10 laurels to school by securing top ranks in Gulf region for the academic session 2019-2020. The recipients of class 12 Gulf Sahodaya awards are for science stream, Naja Ismail, who secured first position by scoring 98.6%. Naja is a sincere, confident, and diligent child. She is an accomplished debater who has represented the school in many competitions. We believe that her intelligence, enthusiasm, and diligence will take her a long way and make her alma mater proud of both her academic and non-academic achievements. Naja Ismail. Hello everyone, I'm Naja Ismail. I'm a science student from the recently graduated batch of students from DPS MIS Doha, Qatar. I scored 98.6 in my recent CBSE examinations and I'm very proud to say that I have scored rank one in both the school and in Qatar. This achievement wouldn't have been possible without the help and support of my parents and teachers. And once again, I'd like to thank the school for this opportunity here today. Second position was secured by Sartha Ketanbhai Modi. He scored 97.8%. Sartha is an all-rounder who has achieved many accolades, not only in academics, but also in many extracurricular activities. We can say with confidence 
that he will continue to be immensely successful in all his future endeavors too. Sarthak is currently pursuing mechanical engineering at NTU Singapore. Third position was secured by Olima Faisal Konath. She scored 97.6%. Olima is a very respectful and enthusiastic child. She is, she is persevering student who has exhibited consistency in all her academic performances, which has been a result of her diligent work habits. Olima is currently pursuing a degree in medicine in India. Congratulations to all, to all three students. You made us feel proud. Moving on to Commerce Stream, class 12 toppers. First position for Commerce Stream was shared by Sali Mansoor and Advaita Nair, Manikandan Nair by scoring 97% in CBSE class 12 board examination in Commerce Stream. Sali is a polite, self-motivated and diligent student. An intelligent child by nature, he has showcased abounding analytical skills. He has proved to be an extremely talented student, well poised to achieve his goals in life. Sali is currently pursuing a degree in international finance in India. Advaita, a confident, enthusiastic and focused child. Advaita has exhibited notable leadership skill. She was the school head girl. Her exemplary leadership and organizational skills have been evicted on many occasions. Advaita is currently pursuing her bachelor's degree in business administration from Qatar University. Congratulations to both the students. Moving on to next section, class 10 Gulf Sahodaya awardees. First position in class 10 was shared by Sriram Malarveli Kumaran and Sudarshan Kodala Gopikrishnan. They scored 98.2%. Sriram is a bright, sincere, and well-behaved child. He is much respected by his peers and loved by his mentors. Besides being good in studies, Sriram has also made a name for himself as a talented photographer. Sudarshan is a brilliant and talented student. He is sincere and courteous too. His academic and personal qualities will definitely ensure his success in future. Second position is secured by Neha Francis Cheramaveli. She scored 97.8%. Neha is an intelligent and friendly child. Besides being good in study, Neha has also proved her talent in the field of sports. We are confident that she will continue to be successful in all her future endeavors. Third position is secured by Mehra Yana Arun. She scored 97.6%. Yana has achieved outstanding success in academics by virtue of her hard work and diligent work habits. She is also a good orator and has represented the school in many inter-school events bringing immense credit to our school. Congratulations to students for your stupendous performance in board examination. Let me take this opportunity to proudly mention here that DPS Modern Indian School has remained on top position at Qatar level since past eight years. And for five years, we proudly hold the top position in Gulf region. The saga of success at DPS Modern Indian School continues and will certainly flourish in days to come. Once again, I congratulate the stars of today's evening, our students. Now, over to Soumya for further proceedings of the event. Thank you, Preeti ma'am. There is no abiding success without commitment. This is proved by our teachers whose dedication and commitment is worthy of appreciation. 
Now, may I call upon Sonal Ma'am to honor and congratulate our teachers for their untiring service to our school. Thank you, Soumya. And good evening, everyone. An institution is not only a building, but the people who work in it and bring it to life every day. Every person who works at DPS Modern Indian School brings joy to its halls. The people getting felicitated today have dedicated more than a decade of their commendable service to this prestigious institution. We start with the teachers who have completed 15 years of service. Ms. Swarna Prabhapatra, a very poised and silent worker, has given 15 dedicated years of service to this institution. Ms. Cornelia Elizabeth Zarin, a very artistic person with a creative mind. She is an integral part of the school's cultural activities. Now we move on to our next group of teachers who have completed 10 years of service in this institution. The first person to lead us is always our beloved principal, Ms. Asna Nafis, who has been leading our institution since 2010. She works extremely hard every single day to make DPS Modern Indian School the best school in Qatar. With a charismatic persona, loving and caring personality, endless words of motivation, inspiring speeches, she is not only a wonderful orator, but also a role model and an inspiration to all of us. Ms. Sharmila Anantaraman, a very dedicated member of our team. She is a hardworking and well-organized person and leads her team with great efficiency, always determined to do the best. Mr. Amir Khan, a diligent member of our team who is always very enthusiastic and dexterous. He is a favorite among his students. Mr. Muhammad Anwar, a good teacher of Arabic. He is the prayerful presence in all our staff meetings and gatherings. Ms. Erwala Kurli Narendran, a dynamic teacher who perseveres with dedication, excellent team leader. Mr. Deepak Kumar, a very active sports teacher. You will always find him in playground surrounded by children. Ms. Deepa Lavanya, an extremely passionate and energetic personality who is always committed to her work. Ms. Satya Priya, an efficient human being. Ms. Priya never fails to persevere and work efficiently. Ms. Deepa Binu John, a very poised, zealous and dedicated person, silent and meticulous worker. Ms. Rachel Alvin Ravikumar, a good hearted human being. Ms. Rachel is an energetic and active teacher who is ever ready to help others. Ms. Priyadarshini Rajagopalan, a very enthusiastic and hardworking personality who efficiently guides her team. Ms. Sudha William, a silent, sincere person, very meticulous in her work. Ms. Shalini Verma, a very creative and friendly individual dedicated to her work. Ms. Shalini is an extemporary writer and a poetess. Dr. Raki Mishra, calming and always a positive influence as a team leader and a perfectionist. Ms. Seema Sharma, a self-motivated and dedicated teacher. She's always cheerful and, a, and is a good team member. Mr. Harish Buhari, a hardworking, dedicated head of IT. He is always present to guide the teachers with IT-related queries. Ms. Rebecca Francisco, a very dedicated and sincere always works with enthusiasm. Mr. Mohan Roy, his love for gardening is seen in the green patches of our school. Mr. Jaykaran Sellatambi, a dedicated and sincere person. Ms. Lalita Santosh, a very caring and friendly with children always comes up with creative ideas. Ms. Victorina Valdez, very energetic and dedicated person, always with a smile on her face. A very unique job which requires a lot of patience, kindness, and alertness. We appreciate your sincere and commitment towards the safety of our students. Mr. Sivarasa Ranjan, Mr. Prabhav Podal, Mr. Nirmal Jayatissa, Mr. Satyendra Yadav, everyone's Yadav Bhai, always there to help us, especially during the preparation for cultural activities. Ms. Jonah B. Pido, polite, hardworking, and always dedicated towards work. 
Miss Annabella never steps down from any task, loving, caring, and affectionate towards children. Miss Natidar, a very creative mind and always ready to assist with a smile on her face. I congratulate everyone for your success. Now over to Arav for further proceedings. Thank you, Sonal ma'am. It has been rightly said that the most beautiful things are associated with memories and moments. If you don't celebrate those, they can pass you by. Today, we all are living in an unprecedented time. It is easy to focus on the bad things as a result of the pandemic, but many good things can be recognized too. What is important for us is the creation of memories. Memories can nourish us in a number of ways. More importantly, tough times don't necessarily last, but the memory does. So without further ado, let me invite the senior school choir to fill our hearts with hope, fervor, and memories with their melodious voices. a beautiful rendition. The annual day is a day which we all look forward to 
with utmost anticipation and excitement. It is an occasion that spreads joy and serves as a platform for students to exhibit their unique talents and build their confidence. However, last year, the unprecedented nature of the COVID pandemic had set in motion one of the most abrupt disruptions in decades, leaving everyone reeling with uncertainty. We at DPS Modern Indian School refused to let the pandemic clip our wings. We promised ourselves that we would fly high in spite of the obstacles in our path. And that we did. We promised to create a show and that DPS everyone Modern would Indian. And enjoy. And that we did. The footprints we leave is the legacy of the journey that we are on. The DPS MIS family wants to be remembered for the footprints of passion and hope we have left behind, not only on the sands of time, but edged in the hearts and minds of everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Footprints, the Unique Journey. बड़ा बलवान टिक ना सके इसके आगे बड़े से बड़ा इंसान समय का चक्र निरंतर गतिमान रहता है जी हाँ यही सत्य है कि समय की धुरी कभी नहीं रुकती तो सुनिए मेरी कहानी मेरी ही जुबानी अ ग्रेट आर्टिस्ट स्कॉप्टेड मी ही चिजल्ड अवे माय ब्लेमिशेस कट मी into a perfect me perhaps it took the greatest artist to blow into me my life yes you're right you guessed it right my children are the pulse of my life varsho pehle racha gaya ek naya itihas san 2001 ka vah din tha swarnim aur virat main janma doha ki dharni pe अंश था छोटा सा मैं अंकुरित हुआ कठिन परिश्रम से और ममत्व से गया सींचा कठिन क्रियाकलापों से सोने जैसा उज्जवल बना छोटे छोटे घरों से घिरा अब विशाल वयस्क हुआ दस आई ग्रो दिस ट्वेंटी इयर्स अलोंग विथ मी माई चिल्ड्रन ग्रो आई स्टूड रॉक सॉलिड इन देर ओडीसी It was never an easy breezy walk. We stumbled. At times we were humbled. It could only bend but not break. Our steely resolve to further our stride. With spring on our legs we advanced. Khushiyon ki bahut chhare thi. सब कुछ मंगलमय था अचानक क्रूर महामारी ने खुशियों का संहार किया आह मैं जीवित हूँ उत्सुक हूँ एक नई प्रभात का हेलो एवरी वन अग्रीड स्कूल बिल्डिंग्स आर क्लोज बट एजुकेशन कंटिन्यूज माई डीप ग्रेटिट्यूड टू ऑल टीचर्स रिजन अप टू दिस ओकेशन टू एडुकेट आर चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम होम इट्स ऑल्सो टाइम टू कनेक्ट विद योर इनर सेल्फ Explore your passion, your creativity. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. Thank you. Then came the much touted 2020. The most challenging, the most devastating times of all the years. Kya hua? Jo aaj ye diware shant hai, 
कुर्सी मेज रिक्त है हम फिर भी मिलते हैं आभासी पटल पर कक्षाएं फिर भी होती हैं I felt a numbing pain, a stumbling block, but my children left me all together. The show must go on, for this too shall pass. Wisdom tried to reason out. Think tanks brought their heads together. The flow of life cannot be held back. Kids. should learn kids should chillax no stopping them from chill and relax yes we met the dragon fears we did it with the aid of tech all these years you came to me now i make my way unto you team or zoom ko sabhi ne saraha hai दिन रात उसी पर पुस्तकों को दोहराया है पुस्तकों प्रयोगशालाओं का जोश भी ना हुआ कम ऑनलाइन से ही काम चलाया है I became a high tech tool. If not in my open arms, I hold you in my virtual web. For safety first, learning next. Anything to my children dear. Today, my classrooms are empty. But I see you virtually every day. तुम्हारे बिना सन्नाटा पसरा है इस सभागार में खेल खिलाटे कहीं खो गए हैं इन सब बवाल में पर पर मैं प्रदर्शी हूँ तुम्हारी प्रगति का आभासी पटल पर तुम्हारे निरंतर विकास का माई लैब अवेट योर क्यूरियस प्रेजेंस बट आई सेट योर डाउट वर्चुअली My library awaits your thirsty eyes, but as e-book, I come to you virtually. The auditorium lacks the luster without you, but I still see you perform virtually. मैदान पर मेरी दृष्टि जब जाती है मेरे अंशों के पद चिन्हों की आवाजें सुनाई दी जाती हैं। फुटबॉल और बल्ले की चटक जूम पर देखी जाती है उत्साह कम ना हुआ मेरे अंशों का उत्तेजना नस नस में अभी बाकी है My playground awaits to play with you, but I feel the sports along with you. along with pablo neruda we at dps believe that there is life under apparent stillness the road may seem deserted the path desolate but just as the earth prepares itself for yet another spring we do bring a bounty for the needy we do come together 
for our beloved family members as always counting on our blessings and catering to the deprived as always cuz we make money for a living and make life by giving yes my strands may appear weak but it is as strong as strength could be thus we meet our daily demons holding the cup of faith intact and daily we strengthen our little ones to row their boat gently down the stream but a dream हौसला न कम हुआ है न होगा कभी कम हौसला न कम हुआ है न होगा कभी कम गर बाजुओं में है दम एक दिन इस जंग से जीत जाएंगे हम एक दिन इस जंग से जीत जाएंगे हम धन्यवाद that was all inspiring i'm sure we can all agree that the students of dps have indeed left their inedible footprints in everyone's heart victor hugo once said music is the literature of the heart it commences where speech ends now let me call upon the junior school choir to infuse our hearts and souls with the strongest form of magic music
Thank you, friends, for that magical performance. Ladies and gentlemen, in these darkest of times, we long for light. We long for hope. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. We, the students of DPS Modern Indian School, by lighting a candle in the darkness, wish to send across a message of hope and encouragement to you all. symbol of hope, we have reached the end of our program. Before I sign off, I would like to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of DPS Modern Indian School to everyone who has made this event a success. First of all, I extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Alpna Mithil for taking time out of her busy schedule and inspiring us with her presence and words of wisdom. With a deep sense of appreciation, I thank all the valued members of the management for providing us with the opportunity to organize this event. My unending gratefulness to our vibrant and visionary principal, Ms. Asna Nafis, whose dedication and perseverance always inspires us. I'm extremely thankful to our vice principals, Ms. Soma Bhattacharji, Ms. May Cruz and Ms. Shifa Sheikh, Headmistress, Ms. Sini Menon and Ms. Najla for their constant motivation and unwavering guidance. I would like to thank my heartfelt gratitude to all the coordinators and teachers for their painstaking efforts. I also take this opportunity to heartily thank all those who have worked hard behind the scenes especially the IT department headed by Hari sir, as without their support, this program wouldn't have been possible. And last, but not the least, I thank all the parents and well-wishers for their constant support and encouragement. Now, may I invite our vice president, Mr. Yasir Nena, to share his thoughts on this special journey. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Arav, uh, and it's indeed an honor to represent the entire management to say that it was indeed a wonderful show, uh, showcasing not only this year's achievements but also taking us through the history of some of those beautiful pictures. Uh, we, as I said in my speech before, we miss coming to the school, but uh, the the wonderful presentation made today has uh, actually brought back the school straight to our house. Uh, within the laptop and the desktops that we are watching the show through. So I really thank the effort that has gone behind this. Kudos to you, Asna ma'am, and your entire team and the IT department who has been you know, key in organizing it. Uh, but of, of course, all the departments who have uh, taken their uh, uh, role in um, you know, uh, curating the event uh, as we went along. I also liked the quality of the English language and the Hindi language used, uh, uh, you know, to to express the thoughts uh, so profoundly. So well done! It's uh, always the best show in DPSMIS, and I'm proud that we are doing it online equally uh, good. So thank you very much for giving me the honor to say this uh, few words towards the end of this wonderful show, and as uh, the the. Uh, as the uh, the last song went, am har nahi manenge, am chalte rahenge. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for those motivating words. Thank you, one and all. And I hope you have safe and healthy days ahead. <laughs>